Steve Power Management is a key part of any mapping expedition. We've got all the high-tech mapping gear. We've got the BCDC taking care of the main engine bay with the main starting battery, so we've got the confidence to restart every day. In the house batteries, 300 amp hours of lithium batteries. So that's all being managed here by the Manager 30. Just take us through the screens and tell us what's going on. Yeah, yeah, not a problem, Rob. So this, this here is the Manager 30 interface. It's the, uh, the remote for the unit. It, um, has various different pages. This one's telling us the state of charge, so that's where our batteries are at at the moment. Um, so overnight we've managed to somehow drain around about 150 amp hours out of our 300 amp hours worth of lithium. So we're sitting around 57% and at this rate, one day until flat. We scroll through, our next screen will tell us what we're charging from. So we've plugged in the solar blanket out the other side and it's a very overcast day, so we're not getting a huge amount of solar, but we'll go through that next. You can see here that we're taking 6.6 .6 amps for our loads. Our battery's providing 4.5 amps for that, and our solar blanket is giving back 2.1 amps, which is uh, significantly impressive considering that it's so heavily cloud covered and overcast today. Anytime anything changes on this screen, you'll see the current go up or down, and that's a good indicator of what's using power. If you see that the power is being drawn at a rapid rate and you don't know what it is, you can look up here, switch off some switches and go, wow, there's uh, more, more power coming out of there than I expected. Um, it will revert back to its home screen and you can change that home screen to be whatever you want. If you don't want to see the state of charge all the time, you can scroll through and change it so that your, your home screen is the time and date. And the matter of just holding down the button, and now this is our home screen. So time and date's not very interesting, is it? So I think we'll go back to just having it as state of charge. So mate, it says here it's two days till flat. I yep. think this morning it said one day till flat. Uh, what's all that based on? Well, that, that's a live reading based on what the battery sensor sees. So it, it's been programmed, it knows that it's got 300 amp hours of lithium battery in there. And every unit of current that goes in and out of that battery, it registers that. So just before when it said one day until flat, you notice the fridge was pumping. So the compressor was on. Okay. And now it's gone to two days because that's turned off. So we've dropped down from say six and a half amps down to 3.9 amps. So it adjusts in live time to, to register what's going on. If we had more solar going in or the vehicle was running, it would say two days until full, you know, eight hours until full, depending on the, the, the current going in. Okay, so there's a pretty awesome spot here. Mm. So if I wait for the sun to come out, I could stay here a whole week. Absolutely, if we've got enough solar, I mean, worst case scenario, all you have to do is start the engine, you'll be pumping 30 amps back into those batteries and you'll get yourself right out strong. Awesome, so we've got heaps of time to go get Brad out in his six wheel drive. Yeah, it's looking a bit rich over there, but we'll go see what we can do. All right, good one. Beauty.